C'est lui qui est venu. C'est lui-là qui est venu donner le nom de Porto Novo. Mm. Porto Novo. Il était arrivé ici en 1750. Mm. Et il a vu que Ongo avait les mêmes caractéristiques que Porto qui était chez lui, là où mm. il a quitté. Ok. The king is referring to a Portuguese man named Eucharistos de Campos. Despite the people calling it Hogbunu, in true European fashion, if a place was not named by a white man, it had no name at all. And so it was renamed Porto Novo, a name it keeps until today. But if de Campos believed the city looked like Porto, this is an indication that Hogbunu was a modern, well-structured city. Hogbono was an ally to the Yoruba kingdom of Oyo. Their culture was and remains a dominant force in Africa as a whole. The historian, Seik Anta Diop, did an intense study of the Yoruba, linking both their culture and language to ancient Kemet, known as ancient Egypt. Kemet was the name the people of ancient Egypt named their country, which spanned the Nile Valley. Kemet meant land of the black people, Traditional leaders and historians of the Yoruba also call their land the land of the black people. In Yoruba, it is said as Ile Adulawo. Even the deities of ancient Kemet survive with the Yoruba, such as Ra, which in Yoruba is said as Irawo. Both of these refer to the rising sun. Honsu, or the moon deity in ancient Kemet, is said as Oshun in Yoruba. The same can be said of Amun, as well as many other linguistic and cultural similarities. This shows that the Yoruba settled in this region sometime after Egypt was conquered by Rome some 1500 years ago.